Toast Titanium is the go-to solution for converting video for iPod, iPad, iPhone, Apple TV, Android, and many other devices. In the Convert tab on the main window, we need to choose a project type. You can see, in addition to video, Toast can convert audio files and more. Let's choose video files and jump over to the media browser. Here, we can import video from a number of sources, including iMovie, our movies folder, unprotected DVDs, iTV, ABC HD cameras, online sources like YouTube, or our own screen captures. Let's choose our movies folder and add these files to our project with a simple drag and drop. Take note that files can also be dragged and dropped right from the finder. Now that we have files in the content area, we can click on a video to bring up a previous slider. Note that the frame we stop on will become the poster or thumbnail image. Later this image will be used as the icon in iTunes in the Finder. We can also type in a new file name for the exported video, which will not affect the original source file. To the right of each clip we have two buttons, Edit and AU Filter. The Edit dialog lets us trim and cut clips, as well as create chapters. In this case, our files don't need to be edited, so let's click Cancel to get back to the main window. The AU Filter button brings up a dialog with plenty of pre-installed audio effects. Any third-party effects you've installed will also appear here. Below the content area we have a gauge that shows us the estimated size of all of the exported videos. The size of the space indicator is determined by two things. One is a drop-down menu that calibrates the gauge to display specific size. This comes in handy when you know the device you'll be playing this on has limited storage space. The second and main deciding factor is the selected export preset that we can see to the right. Clicking on this brings up the player setup dialog where we can easily choose another device or format. This dialog is probably the most important part of the entire video conversion process. That's because these presets affect video format and quality. The first menu here is a list of presets for Apple hardware, video game systems, various mobile devices, and other formats. But at the bottom we also see new custom profile. This allows us to edit or create our own custom preset and save it for future use. Let's create one. Choose iPad in the Format menu and call it My iPad. Now we have control over all the aspects of our video. Size, frame rate, audio settings, and more advanced things like codec. Once we press OK, we see our new custom preset in the list. You can always make changes to your custom presets by selecting the Edit button to the right. The available presets in the list will work just fine for most people, so let's just choose iPad from the default list provided. The next drop-down list controls the quality and size of the video. The higher the setting, the larger the converted file will be. So choose a quality setting that's appropriate for your device and storage space available. Let's leave this at best quality. Lastly, we need to tell Toast where we want to save our files. Since we're exporting for iPad, let's leave it as iTunes, so it will automatically add it to our iTunes library. One really helpful option is the ability to preview video with the selected export settings. We can select a preview duration, a starting point, choose to save the preview to a folder, and in just a few seconds we can get an accurate preview of how the exported video will look. What this means is that we can play with quality and format settings and preview a portion of the video in just a few seconds, as opposed to waiting for video conversion to be completed. Once we're happy with our settings, we can choose to either set a scheduled time to start the conversion, or begin it immediately by just pressing the Convert button. As soon as our files are converted, we just need to copy or sync them to our device, and we're ready to enjoy the show.